Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In this episode, it is Melbourne's first weekend out of lockdown. Deer Park Aquarium are expecting a huge day of sales, so they have stocked their tanks to the brim. Thought I'd grab the camera, take you guys for a tour to check it all out. Here we go. Now, whilst there is an absolute ton of dry goods in, there is so much livestock. I want to focus this video entirely on that. So uh, if you need to check out the dry goods, you are actually free to come in store this weekend and check it out yourself. But uh, let's roll on in and check out these fish because uh, there are so much to take in in here. Have a look at all of these Vanderbilt chromas, just uh, loving life in there. We've got some cool blennies, got a awesome big fathead anthia there. Check him out. What an absolute stunner. Some old glory, some bicolor chromis, little La flame hawk there, and so, so many more in that tank, but we've got to keep rolling because there are so many tanks to check out. Have a look at uh, this little harem here of uh, fire gobies, gorgeous little tomato clown, I'm fairly sure, some butterflies, and big wrasse over here. You can also see an Aussie bicolor blenny in the back corner there. And check out these little antheas up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pretty fish. Speaking of pretty antheas, have a look at these guys up here. Chilling out in the top corner. There's some down there by the weir. Got some uh, lawnmower blennies there. Got some uh, butterflies. Looks like a bristle tooth. Gorgeous wrasse there. Come on down into this tank and we've got a, a bunch of uh, blue-green chromis. Looks like a pair of uh, zebra, uh, zebra angels. Got this uh, crazy, crazy uh, melanaris, I believe it is. Gorgeous rasset is black and white. Some more lawnmower blennies, pair of uh, platinum clowns there. Roll on up to the next tank. I can see a huge uh, collection of uh, liartail antheas here. Got a little uh, angel there. We've got uh, the female liartails and a male in there ruling the roost. A couple males actually. You can see the color difference with the males. Gorgeous coral beauty angel back there. Let's come on down here because speaking of some more beautiful, beautiful antheas, have a look at these guys. I think these are uh, purple queens. Need to double check on that. There's a uh, earmuff wrasse there. Absolutely gorgeous specimen. Fiji fox face, little six line wrasse. Over here, we've got a uh, bicolor cleaner wrasse, a juvenile here. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Hasn't quite developed the white coloration yet. Got a little uh, flame hawk hiding down there in the corner and uh, another sunburst anthea. What a beautiful specimen. They are just gorgeous fish. But as I said and before, it does not end there. Let's have a look at some more fish here. Gorgeous, gorgeous assortment of uh, golden antheas in here. What beautiful fish they are. Look at the colors and markings on them. Looks like a nice, uh, what kind of tang is that? Let's see, a martyr tang in there. A uh, beautiful Naoki wrasse up here. What a gorgeous specimen he is. Little Valentini puffer, I believe, yep, yep. And some other wrasse as well. Head on down in here. We've got some bar gobies. Oh, look at the, uh, just the stature of these dudes, the way they just sort of all sit still staring at you. Got a big golden Midas Blenny there. Flame Hawk just chilling in the corner. Another gorgeous little wrasse. A couple of wrasses in there, real beautiful little guys. I'm not sure what this dude is, but he has got some gorgeous colorings and uh, markings. Could be one of these dudes on here. Don't think he's a Scots, he might be a long fin. Beautiful fish. Heading up over onto the next tank, we've got a bit of a predator system here. You've got a dog face puffer, got a gorgeous little uh, lionfish here. We'll look at him flare up for the camera. And then, uh, I'm not sure how much you can see, but have a look at these, uh, all of these uh, eels just sticking their heads out. Have a look at the camera. Cool, cool fish. Got a uh, red tooth trigger down here. This dude, <laughs> he's an angry boy, so he's in isolation because look at those teeth, big unit. Got a nice little uh, pineapple trigger here. I'm not sure how well it comes up with camera, but this guy's got little spines, little spikes all over him, which is pretty cool. And a, uh, another red tooth trigger up there, just a little bit smaller. Also got some uh, Brachypus algae in for your algae reactors. Got a nice Picasso trigger there. And this dude here is a Forster's Hawk. Forster's, Foster's, yes, Forster's Hawk. Beautiful unit. Heading up here, we've got another couple of triggers. Got a uh, flag tail trigger and a Schematus. Must admit, I am not right up there with all of the uh, predatory triggers, but uh, Schimitar? Schimitar trigger, as you do. 
gorgeous fish, particularly if you've got that predator system. Rolling on over here. All right, let's have a look. Check out these uh, long nose wrasse, bird nose wrasse, I should say. Gorgeous little uh, juvenile emperor there. Coral beauty. Check out these uh, guys up here, these. What do we got? What are these wrasse? Twisty wrasse, yeah, with the black and white colors on them. Very, very nice. Little baby juvenile sailfin there. Convict tang, lemon peel angel, coral beauty. Very pretty little scopaz. Little baby blue tang, everyone's favorite. Everyone loves a baby blue tang. Down into this tank here, we've got uh, some nice clowns in here. Even a, uh, looks like a lightning maroon back there. Gorgeous fish, chorus wrasse. Over into, uh, some pajama cardinals. We've got a uh, slightly different fish here. He looks like a big goldfish, but he is actually a uh, sailfin cardinal. I believe he's actually a predator fish that is very active at night. Something completely different in the system. Heading up over here, we've got the gold spot rabbit fish, orange shoulder tang, a magnificent fox face. I have not seen one of those for a while. Got a uh, beautiful angel there. Uh, what sort of wrasse we got here? Looks like a little Melanaris wrasse. Uh, let's see what's in the next tank. We've got purple tang, big cleaner wrasse. Looks like a beautiful rabbit fish. Got some uh, maroon clowns as a pair. Beautiful fish indeed. We are getting there with the fish, but there's still a whole nother row to go. There's a uh, fox face there. Looks like a one spot fox face. Got some uh, Great Barrier Reef Chromis, a couple Antheas, some Yellow Assessors, little Citro and Gobies over there. People are always after those. There's a pretty cool dude there. And uh, let's see, last row of tanks. Well, actually, that's not true because we've got the invert wall to go, but um, Blue Tang, we've got some uh, Bicolor Chromis. Head on down here into these two gorgeous, gorgeous big fox face in there. These guys are so big, fat colorful they're in with a harlequin tusk which um is almost getting dwarfed by the fox face but uh, beautiful fish nonetheless up here we've got some uh, old glories and some antheas let's see lilac tipped antheas there you go i have not heard of those before but we've got a few of those in stock at the moment as well as some bar gobies these guys always come up really cool in a photo but um very nice looking fish Heading on down here, you've got a couple of huge copper band butterflies. These ones are Aussie copper band butterflies. So uh, do find we have a little bit more success with these guys adapting to aquarium life and uh, eating a bit sooner rather than later. Dog face puffer up there. Everyone loves a dog face puffer except for, um, I guess, your snails. But uh, just like a puppy dog, full of, uh, full of life and um, great addition to a predator system. Harlequin tusk as well. All right, up here we've got some uh, blue eye bristle tooths. This beautiful red fin butterfly. Man, he is a pretty fish. Butterfly is not always uh, coral friendly and I'm sure this guy is likewise not coral friendly, but uh, what a stunning fish if you have got a uh, fish only system. Not expensive either at 80 bucks. Got a Labuti Rasp back there. Pacing about the tank, gorgeous fish. Heading on down to this system here. Got some cool fish in here. We've got uh, some leopard wrasse over here in the corner. Got a few other types of wrasse. In fact, all sorts of wrasse hiding out in this system, but those leopard wrasse are the ones that are grabbing my attention. Have a look at this dude though. Super cool fish. Little goat fish in the background there. Another Labuti. Uh, some blue green chromis. And uh, we are getting there. We're up to a uh, bicolor angel there. Got some scopaz tangs. I can see a nice uh, regal angel back there. Some more Labuti wrasse, lavender wrasse. So, so many fish. You <laughs> really need to come in store and check it out. Down into here, we've got some uh, Fusilli. Got a, uh, I think he is a hogfish. He is bicolor hog. Or just got a Valentini puffer down there, but also just to mix things up, if we look up here, we've got a mated pair of mimic filefish, which are mimicking Valentini puffers, something completely different. 
But um, we do have one semi fish wall to go. If I have a look over this way, it's technically the invert wall, but uh, you can see in this system here, there's no shortage of fish. So uh, let's get cracking into that one. You can see we have a whole swarm of uh, inverts in Trochus, Strombus, Nass, possibly more all sorts in. Got some uh, urchins in, some stars of various types, and there's all sorts of varieties of different uh, designer breeds of clowns, ranging from uh, Picassos to uh, what do we got to this one? Yeah, more Picassos, smudge clowns, <laughs> cheeky Picasso, as you do. And then uh, up in here, we've got black snowflakes. We've got snowflakes, ultra black ice, Da Vinci's. So many different types of clowns in at the moment. You really need to come check them out. But what we also have, and they're all over the place, is uh, some captive bred orchid dotty backs. We have captive bred royal grammars we have captive bred um mandarins is the word i'm looking for no shortage of them although they're hard to see because they're so small there is one up on the back wall there and obviously uh, no shortage of uh basic clowns as well as you can see front and center there some more different clown varieties here you see the midnight clowns there there's a uh, captive bred neon dotty back a little uh nano predator fish i would describe him as some lightning maroons here unbelievable let's get a filter on this camera although let's just check out these seahorse first because there's a few different types of seahorse in but i'll grab a filter get it on this camera and then we'll check out the huge range of corals in stock as well all right i've added the filter onto the camera to try and uh, compensate for some of these blues there's no shortage of uh bubble tip anemones in from uh, frosted roses over this side to your uh, standard greens in here got a bunch of standard greens in all sizes there at 60 bucks each definitely a nice way to get uh, your clowns into a, a nem i'm going to start off over this side on the 120 dollars tank got some bower banky there coming across we've got some rhodactus we've got some acans we've got uh Good assortment of gonies, some scollies. Coming on down here, we've got some smaller dash frog spawns. I quite like this uh, nice ultra reverse frog spawn. Got some button scollies here, some ultra button scollies. Very, very nice indeed. And speaking of ultra, check out this blasto garden here. Just uh, all sorts of different types of blasto. I must admit, I didn't realize there were that many, but uh, when you see them all next to each other, I'm sure there's even more out there, but we've probably got nine to a dozen different types of blasto right there. Got another tiny little dish there, some ricks, some crazy morphs, and uh, check out this little elegance garden going on here. Good assortment of those there. Scooting across, still into a $120 tank. This one is often reserved for uh, hammers. And whilst the lights have just come on, you can see the hammer garden is already starting to fill up along the bottom here. Great assortment of different colored hammers here. Come in at $120 each or uh, three for 100, which you can see up on screen there, which, um, Gives you a great opportunity to put some pretty nice high-end hammers in and get yourself a garden going on. Also got some pretty cool pieces up top here. Check out, uh, is that a, a dark elegance there at $120? That is pretty cool. Huge piece as well. Another nice elegance, this big lobo here. A couple of nice lobos, really nice chalice in the back there. That's got some nice coloration to it. And some more hammers up here. Check out the, I'm um, not sure how well it's coming up. This one's like gold stem blue tip hammer. Very, very nice indeed. Nice red cyanaria too. They are always a uh, absolute favorite coral. Scoot over to the other side of this tank. This is the $80 side. So uh, you can pick yourself up some pieces here at 80 bucks or three for 200. Got some nice scollies. This five year has been here for a couple of weeks. It surprises me, it's absolutely gorgeous piece. Got some uh, acan, some more gonies, including a really nice red goni frag there. More acan, some nice chalice along the top there. Coming down to the bottom, we've got some smaller elegants. This Rhodactus or Morph, I really like. He's got the yellow bumps all over him. Crazy, crazy piece. Some nice wild zoas there. Gorgeous little bubble coral, nice uh, favia. Some candy canes, which I have not seen for a long time. I do love a candy cane. Got some lobos. This lobo is crazy. The uh, color banding on that, absolutely stunning. Nice little uh, Rhodactus and Recordia rocks and some large leathers, which are obviously still opening up. Coming across here, this tank is assorted a little bit. No, it is $200 a 
piece in this tank. Got some of the larger higher end hammers along the top here. Same deal, you can pick them up three for 500, which is a heck of a deal when you look at some of the qualities of hammers in here. Coming down, got this gigantic showpiece A-can there. Got some uh, really nice chalice. We got some scollies, got some very nice goonies. I'm not sure how well you can see. We got yellow eyes with uh, pink frills. A couple of different, I guess this one's still pink, but it's a lighter pink than this one here. You've got a, a blue eye with red, another blue with red. You've got a green eye with red. This one is on the verge of rainbow. These two are, they've got blue there with pink around the outside. Just crazy high-end assortment of uh, gonies, especially this one here, the yellow eyes and that little piece there. Absolutely crazy, although I am gonna have to move him away from that Wilsoni because he's getting stung at the moment. Speaking of Wilsoni, there's some absolute crackers in there. Have a look at those pieces and some more beautiful red cyanaria. We'll pan across to this tank. We are getting into the cheaper items here at $60 a piece or three for 150. You see, we've got a nice assortment here. We've got Helios, we've got some Bower Bankies, leathers, leathers of various types, whether you like Toadstool, Singularia, you name it. Uh, some nice Acan frags there, some Recordia rocks. You see this beautiful fluffy morph assortment here with uh, blue tips on it. Some uh, smaller torch and frog spawns and some really nice hammers for a uh, $60 piece if you're looking to put some hammers in your nano. Good option there. Coming up into some cellus, some more candy canes, some smaller pieces, smaller versions of cellus too, some Elvio, some gonies, some favias. Uh, what is that one? It's got some clove polyps, I think possibly Xenia on a blasto rock. Interesting, not actually sure what they are. This Cynaria is really nice with um, a couple of different colors of tone through it. Some nice uh, red Gonia Pora frags. Coming across into $80 tank with some $10 SPS brownouts on top. The $80 tank, we've got some really nice leathers. So look at the colors on the polyps of these guys here. Beautiful. Some nice hammers along the bottom there. Slightly smaller, although the lights have just come on, so they will open up and fill out a bit more. And uh, for the SPS bargain hunters out there, nothing nothing I love more than an SPS brand out because realistically, they often brand out in your system anyway, and uh, this just kind of gives you a $10 uh, lucky dip, I guess. So you can pick up 10 of them for 50 bucks, pop them in your frag tank and just see what colors you get, which is always a bit of fun because you just pop them in there, forget about them. And uh, a couple months later, you go and have a look and find some absolutely cracking SPS that you didn't even know you had. Over into this tank here in the $60 or three for 150 tank. Have a look at some of these elegants down here. I would be surprised if any of them survive the day. What a beautiful piece of 60 bucks. Got some good torches down here. Some of these Lobos are absolutely cracking. And then looking at the screen now, the colors are coming up just as I'm seeing an eye. Look at the pink, green, and blue on that one. Absolutely stunning. This one over in the back corner here has got the orange, green, and blue. Beautiful pieces. Check out the uh, toxic green star polyps there. Highly uh, grows super easy, but it's always difficult to get in stock for some reason. So I'm betting they will probably sell quite quickly. Got some nice trachophilia up the top there. Got some uh, bubble coral, some more favias. Uh, I can see a good assortment of some really high-end uh, frags along the top there. Some acans, elvios, gonies, montes, some war corals on the shelf there. Got some sun coral here, which is something I have not seen for a while. We've got some green, some black, some yellow, some pinks. If you've got an NPS tank or just a spot in your tank that doesn't have a huge amount of light to it, that's gonna be the coral you wanna go for. Over into our bargain $35 tank, three for 90. We've got a great little assortment of some fungias down there. A couple of chalice. Uh, let's see, we've got some wild zoas there. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of really nice nano hammer heads there. I see some nice cephastrias there. This little bower bank, he's an absolute beaut. Have a look at the colors on him. Stunning piece for 35 bucks. Coming up onto the top, we've got uh, all sorts along there. Some leptos, some zoas more Acans, some really nice pieces. So come along to the end of this tank. We've got some $35 Zoa frags in here, which has been something that people have been asking for for a long time. And uh, there is a great assortment of different names of Zoas in here from, uh, I mean, I don't even know some of the names of the Zoas, but uh, we've got Darth Mauls. We've got, uh, looks like some uh, Fruit Loops, some Sakura Sunrises. 
I think there are some rasters, some uh, scrambled eggs, but uh, you tell me, I'm not the big Zoa guy. What I can tell you is, is these crazy carpet anemones in here. We've got a purple and a pink in there. They're still opening up. These lights literally came on about 30 seconds ago, but uh, this purple Hedoni has been reduced down to 2,000 bucks. Absolute steal. Um, if you've got yourself a NEM tank, and you've got some clowns you want to see swimming around in that. Personally, I'd call it blue, but uh, it was sold to us as a purple, so purple Hedoni it is. Let's scoot on over here, checking out some more of the $35 frags. These ones came from my friends up in New South Wales. Aquaculture, they've been grown in Freefers tanks, just like yours and mine. Blue Digi along the top. We can see some Dallas frags, which people are always chasing. Get my camera to work with us. Got some red Monty cap, which grows fast. I can see some forest fire digi. Some more zoas down here, scrambled eggs, sunny Ds. Uh, some, what are those common ones called? Eagle eyes. Eagle eyes, that's them. Then we've got some more SBS frags along here from uh, some, oh man, camera work. Got some more SBS frags along here, some blue digis, some unidentified acroporas, got some bird's nests, great assortment of pieces there, including a nice little uh, little bonsai or a valida or something up there. Coming over here into our uh, torch tank, which has obviously more than torch, but uh, see some super nice deshi along the top here. Uh, we've got a really nice, really nice piece up there. We've got some gorgeous elegance corals here. Some of these are the uh, ultra elegance. Again, still waking up, but I couldn't help but grab the camera because uh, I don't think I'll get a chance throughout the rest of the day. We're expecting it to be flat out today. Have a look at some of the torches down here. If you are interested in high-end torch, I don't know where else you'd go. Have a look at some of these gold tips, the um, hulks, the uh, yellow tips, the rasters. Um, this gorgeous green over the back there is just solid, solid green. The yellow tips are absolutely glowing come across here we do also have a holy grail which is difficult to pick up the color on camera but uh, there is a uh, holy grail and doesn't get that name for no reason over the back there got this incredible banana yellow hammer here with uh, what I'd call a purple or a red stem absolutely gorgeous piece there's some cracking recordia scully and chellis have a look at this scully here he's been here calling my name for a few weeks don't know how much longer I can leave him in store. Surely someone will buy him. This chalice over the back here, very, very nice as well with the uh, green splash through it. But uh, let's get across to some of my favorites and that is the SBS. This is the $35 tank, you read that right. 35 bucks a piece or three for 90. Have a look at the assortment up here. Whether you're chasing stag, spaff, acro, strawberry shortcake, robustas, Thin branching, thick branching, plating, you name it. There's some crazy pieces, even some Monty's. Have a look at the Polypix engine in here. These lights have just come on, but the wave boxes in this system are just keeping those polyps super, super happy. There's some highlighted yellows there. Absolutely gorgeous pieces. Some really nice, really nice SPS, particularly for the $35 tank. Let's scoot across to the other side where the pieces get a little bit more expensive, but um, I say that with my sort of tongue in cheek because we're talking $45 a piece or three for 120. Still super cheap and there's some crazy high end fish just keeping these uh, SBS company. But uh, have a look at the colors of some of these pieces here. Absolutely cracking. You don't really need me to talk you through it. Just enjoy the SBS. Three of these pieces for $120. I expect to be bagging a lot of these up today. A couple here that uh, I really like. Have a look at the blue on this guy here. Very, very nice. The yellow tips on him. The assortment of colors in him. Absolutely crazy. Then the pieces along the top there. Some super bright robusters. Some spaths, some millies. These two pieces here got some very nice color as well. Not to mention this guy over here. The range from uh, yellow through to purples and blues up the top. Absolutely stunning. And continuing on to the $45 pieces, we've got this absolutely stunning Monty there. I don't think that'll see out the day, but if it does, I'll take it home. Have a look at this spath here with uh, the yellow eyes on the pink body. Gorgeous pieces. There's another nice piece here, this uh, blue tip in there. Holy moly, we've got two pieces of that Monty, so you never know. I might be able to get a bit by the end of the day. 
and some more pieces along the top there. Crazy, crazy stock. There is captive bred orchid dotty backs throughout all of these systems just to keep them all separated and doing their thing. Some nice robusta there. This uh, colony here of uh, highlighter yellow, just absolutely gorgeous. And yes, $45 a piece. What a ripper. All right, guys, we will wrap things up there. As you can see, the tanks are chock-a-block here. Expecting a huge day now that Melburnians are allowed out of their homes without one of the essential reasons. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all down at Deer Park Aquarium today. You can see we've got no shortage of fish, corals, inverts, and dry goods to get your tank absolutely pumping. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you get to, to please consider subscribing. Costs no money at all. It takes two seconds of your time. Thanks, guys. Till next time, have a good one. Cheers. Bye.